Hey guys, it's Jara here, and today I'm going to be trying to make a mask out of modeling clay. And you're probably thinking, the hell does she need a mask out of modeling clay for? Well, I like the feel of modeling clay. I think it's quite a fascinating feel, and I just love it. I've got heaps of it left, so I thought I'm going to take some of this modeling clay and make a mask. And you're going to see the procedures and stuff of like that being done in this video. But this is my second time using modeling clay ever. So, yes, it will be bad. All the modeling clay experts, please don't hate me in the comments below. But basically, I'm going to just try and make a mask. I'm going to use one of my like baby dolls I had when I was younger as the canvas. Kind of model it on that and then do some detailing later. But yeah, let's just see how it goes. I am in the middle of working on this project, which is, it looks really creepy, but I am trying to make a mask out of moldable, like, clay, moldable, what's it called, like, what is this called, uh, modeling clay, I'm just using this, not sponsored, I'm trying to make a, like, a nice clay mask, so then when I bake it, I'll crack it, and that's the symbolism of, like, we all wear masks, and... That. So this is kind of what it looks like so far. I can take it off and it's just like, bleh. So yeah, I'm just using like a baby. And then, because it's easier to smooth on. But yeah, my desk is a real mess right now. But that's a-okay. So yeah, I'm just gonna work on smoothing this out. Kind of seeing if it needs more. Maybe I might take a chunk out here, possibly. I don't know, it's a work in progress. We'll see how this goes.
has been made. That was English. So we got we got the mask kind of done with the sunken in eyes. I'll fix that a little bit there. But the rest of it is like pretty smooth. Got a little bit there, like the eye sockets and stuff. So next, I want to be able to use some of this. I've got the red out currently, just rolling to a ball. So this is all clay as well. This is modeling clay. And I'm going to try and make some detailing to put onto the mask. So like a flower, I'm going to try and make. Try and make some vines. Just trying to make it look like your stereotypical girly esque. I'm also thinking of making a yellow crown that will be on the side and semi broken and crooked. Um, but on the mask, what I've got left to do is to add some cracked details into that, and then it will be done. So this is my first, well, second time using modeling clay. I definitely know how to use it a lot better now. So I'm just gonna keep on rolling, I guess. I don't know. progress has been made I've added on this flower which actually I'm quite proud of to be honest and then we've got a petals going down the vine so I'm just going to smooth that out a bit more um, but other than that it's pretty much done I'm going to bake it for a bit obviously take it off the doll bake it and see how we go from there progress is being made So the mask is now completely finished, as you can see right here. All the nice little details. So the coloured clay that you can see right here actually didn't like set like this clay did. So that's kind of annoying, but I love it a lot. I think it's really amazing. I love it. It just represents who I am, and I just love it a lot. So it will live. Sorry if my face looks weird. I just have facial. It's going to live right here. I can't get that part to stay over that. So it will live like that for the rest of its days. Until it gets broken or smashed or something like that. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, let me know in the comments below and tell me what you guys thought of this type of styling of a video. Something a bit different, something you guys aren't used to. Anyway, dry it in the next video. Sorry, cast me out. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. I love that mask though. I think I actually did a really good job considering it's my first time. First time, my second time using clay. So I'm really, really proud of it. And I love it a lot. Yes.